so uh, next topic of our tutorial is meshing uh, why we go for meshing in a computational fluid dynamics to discretize the total volume into small cubes small uh, parts so that whatever the governing equation we have in a computational fluid dynamics that governing equation will going to solve for a particular cube and it will going to solve for all cubes so that we will get exact uh, we will get a accurate result as possible as fluid dynamics is concerned cfd is concerned so let's see uh, how we can go for a meshing so this is a meshing option here global mesh setup is there okay and in global mesh setup uh, here global element scale factor this global element scale factor which is a nothing but that it is the ratio of smallest part of the elements and biggest part so that it will make the ratio 1 and it will assign uh, the size of the geometry to the entire domain so I will say apply then I will go directly for for compute mesh and instead of going from surface volume surface I will go for directly volume mesh it is a default function in ICM CFD so say compute uh, it is asking me the mesh size appears to be inadequate to represent the geometry do you want to run the with auto sizing yes you can say say yes so that it will uh, do automatic meshing so within a few uh, seconds you will get a meshing so let's see so it is uh, the meshing structure okay surface uh, here you can see finished the compute mesh and above this you can see uh, total element and node this is most important uh, for a CFD engineer to know how much elements and how much node are used for entire domain of CFD as it is a global scale factor 1 now you can see here uh, near about number of node it is uh, 4 lakh uh, it is 44,860 and 2,66,022 are the total elements so it is with scale factor 1 let's see what will happen when we I increase scale factor from 1 to 1.5 so I am writing somewhere this that is total node is 4 4 4 8 6 0 that is a node and elements 2 lakh 66,022 so I am writing it is element and it is a node let's see what happened when I will go for scale factor 1.2 again I will go for compute mesh it says that again same and it is asking me to whether I will merge or replace the existing I will say replace because I am not willing to merge the mesh so let's see what, what happens when I will uh, replace the mesh just look at the number total number and uh, of elements and total number of a node what is the effect whether it will get increase or decrease with uh, increasing uh, scale global scale factor that we will see So within a few seconds, you will get a mesh. Okay. So it is too much uh, small mesh we are getting, but we are interested in numbers. So now you can see the numbers. So number is huge. You can say 
जो प्रीवियसली विद ग्लोबल स्केल फैक्टर वन द नंबर ऑफ नोड वॉज फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड नाउ यू कैन सी वन लैक्स फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स इट इज डबल मोर दैन डबल टोटल नंबर ऑफ नोड इज काउंटेड सेम वे टोटल एलिमेंट फॉर ग्लोबल स्केल फैक्टर वॉज अ टू लैक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड नाउ हेयर एट लैक्स सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड सो नंबर ऑफ टोटल एलिमेंट्स इज नियर अबाउट फोर टाइम्स इंक्रीज सो इट इज इट इज इफेक्ट ऑफ हाउ द ग्लोबल स्केल फैक्टर अफेक्ट्स द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड नंबर ऑफ नोट then we will go for edit mesh so go for first the first uh, check elements and uh, extrude element is not required so go for third option that is check mesh in check mesh what it will use used to do it is uh, used to uh, detect the errors like uh, duplicate elements uncover faces missing internal multiple edges these are the possible problem related to the mesh so it is tackled to all these so i can say apply now uh, after this check mesh what it it used to do internally it is find out that uh, the hanging elements and the uh, and it used to whether we want to delete or not it used to give the message yes it is a diagnostic element 564 problem element were found so i can say you can put it in create subset and uncovered vertices i can say delete so it is about check mesh then i will go for display mesh quality say apply so it is showing me the mesh quality from 0 to 1 then i will go for another option smooth surface globally so i will say apply yes okay then i will go for output it means i need to save this mesh so my output solver is a fluent v6 and common structure solver is ansys there are n number of uh, uh, structure solver like nastra ls dyna abacus autodyne but ansys i am using okay then i will go for a boundary condition here i will check whether i have two vo volume or not and whatever the label i am i had given it is highlighted here so i will say accept then go for parameters here this solver has no parameter it is a mention and go for last it used to say that please save your geometry first once you save the geometry uh, as it is unstructured domain uh, because it is a triangular geometry we are using that's why it is unstructured mesh will create uh, i will give a separate uh, tutorial about uh, what is a structured mesh and unstructured mesh okay so it is say open then it is default it is a grid dimension is a 3d when you are solving 2d problem then you have to mention your grid dimension is 2d so fluent underscore i will copy flow over a flat plate control v okay done so here i am writing the mesh file which will be used for solving the fluent problem or solving this problem that is flow over a flat plate so uh, here it is there done with translation when this matches are you will get then you can understand that your file is written safely and it it is able to import in a flu fluent so thank you for uh, watching and uh, keep watching and like subscribe my channel cfd for engineer thank you